Welcome back. I think this is part two. <laughs> there we go. Part two of the diesel heater install. It is a nice day. Um, it's a little chilly. I'm in my uh, short sleeve uh, shirt here, but uh, in Celsius it's about uh, 12 to 14 degrees. The, uh, the tree is uh, changing a little more. I've been laughing at my tree because the top half is all this beautiful amber red color and the bottom is still fresh pure green. Um, but there's a couple of others in the neighborhood that haven't even changed yet so I don't know what's going on there. Nature is very strange. So I've been going through some parts here and uh, here's the uh, diesel exhaust tube uh, hose if you will. It's uh, I think a galvanized metal of some type. And here is the air intake with a bit of a silencer on it, which is necessary. Now the uh, exhaust gets shipped to me in one piece. It does have an exhaust uh, muffler right here, which we have to uh, decide where it goes in the length of the run, and then we'll cut the tube mount the exhaust and uh, good to go and there's some other electronics the fuel pump and whatnot is down here we'll get to those uh, uh, probably not today um, at any rate let's go under and uh, let's do the exhaust first and just see whereabouts we can uh, we can put this so uh, I will bring is this the exhaust kit mounting kit exhaust pipe yes so, we'll take this down with us as well, the exhaust pipe, just for fitting, and uh, there's also, by the way, this is pretty cool, we have this insulating uh, tube fabric made of, uh, I assume, some, uh, I won't say asbestos because that would be bad. <laughs> But uh, because the uh, temperatures coming out of the heater exhaust are so high, uh, there could be plastic uh, connectors or wires or something right around the immediate area of the heater, and you want to protect those. So that makes sense to have that. Let's remove this protective tape. Keep the uh, road dust and weather off of it. Done. All right. Everything looks good. I'm just going to retighten this one nut up here. I wasn't too happy with that uh, position. Everything else uh, is fine. Looks good. I'm very happy. Let me just grab something. I'm going to tighten that up a bit. So this is the uh, air intake, diesel fuel intake, and this is the exhaust. Um, now, the exhaust has to come this way. The air intake is going to go that way. So there, as you can see, there's going to be a, a crossover. What I uh, am saying that for is because, uh, move you again here, there we are. Uh, the exhaust pipe for the car engine is right here. So it only makes sense because there's so much protection over here. There's so much protection over here built in from the car manufacturer to protect for heat that I will bring the uh, exhaust probably down or at least in this angle a bit and bring it around and uh, mount the uh, the exhaust down over here and I think there's enough Let me just practice with it uh, yeah okay so that'll be fine and comfortable What is this? Vibration belt. Okay. 
So, yeah, that'll work. Um, bring that exhaust and just bring it with the pipe here. And we can put the, uh, the exhaust for the, uh, the diesel heater anywhere over here. So that'll be good. I'm going to take some bend out of this mount and then I can probably put it right here and that will hold the muffler perfectly in a spot we can use. I so do remember how much I love my silver marker and now I have a silver metal pipe and a silver marker. So, uh, yeah, uh, this could be a challenge, but <laughs> we'll find out. So, it's going to go in here and I'll tighten it down at some point once I get it in there. And then I'm going to bring it gently over here. It can turn a bit, that's fine. So, Okay, so we're going to cut it. Just need to cut a little bit, just off the end, about five or six inches. That's it. That should do it. Okay, that was quick and painless. So the uh, longer piece will come from the heater uh, out to the uh, muffler, and then this little uh, piece from the muffler. Uh, off the end. Don't really need it, I suppose, but this little protective piece will keep, uh, I guess, eagles and muskrat and mice from crawling in. So, anyhow, that's done. So, uh, I guess I can install this. Um, yeah, let's do it. The angle is not friendly, but let's give it a go. Uh, might work. That's for the uh, the muffler. Okay, so Thank you. 
All right, so I've got the uh, exhaust mounted, covered with its protective covering, uh, because there are some uh, wires just behind here that you can see. Uh, then it comes along, runs just above the factory exhaust, which is fine because all this metal here is uh, double walled, so that should be good. It comes down. Now what I'm going to do is uh, put the muffler in place, a little tailpipe, and we're good for uh, the exhaust, anyhow. exhaust is right there the air intake is right beside it so I think what I'm going to try to do with the intake is to uh, eh, I don't know I'll have to take a look I'd like to run it up that would be possible turn it and bring it down just to there um, let me take a look at that more carefully here That might work as long as I can keep these from touching. If I can keep those two from touching, I'll be happy. I think I can. That'll work like that. So, let me get this installed. Yeah, the more I turn it, the tighter it gets, obviously. Okay, might have it. I'll never get to the fuel intake. <laughs> so I'm not going to tighten this all the way, because I might have to take this off um, to get to the fuel. There we go. There we go. Finally. That's all we need. That'll hold it. All right. That's fine. It's not touching the exhaust. The exhaust needs to be tightened. I'm going to have to buy a better... I'm going to have to buy a uh, socket or um, uh, like a... Uh, socket screwdriver to fit these and tighten them up. This one's fine. And uh, yeah. good to go. For the moment, I'm happy. The exhaust, where are we? Right here. Comes out, goes above the car exhaust, comes down, and The uh, muffler is right there, so that's not bad. Uh, 
All right, one step closer. Wow. And uh, that's it for the moment. So next time we're going to uh, tidy up those, uh, tighten those uh, connections for the uh, the exhaust. I want those better. And uh, we'll run the fuel line. So, so far, you know, it is what it is. It's taking a long time. I can only do this on my days off, uh, the times I can grab, and when the weather is allowing me.